showed me myself. And I prayed and I prayed and asked him to take me to 2 Timothy chapter 3. If you go to 2 Timothy chapter 3 before we get to Genesis, and again, I, don't, I, won't, I won't read it, but you can read it in 2 Timothy 2 and 3. And it, and it talks about, in those last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, and unholy. Yep. Now, the reason, and, and you can, and I mean, it lists, I had all, when you go, if you read the entire list, all the way down from verse 8, as it lists each one of the things that you see in those last days, I had all of those attributes. And I knew that I, I was saved, and this is what's important. I was saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, tongue talking. How in the world could the enemy still get in and trip me up? Was my was my question. I was like, Lord, I'm I'm sick in your face. I'm fasting. I'm praying. I'm getting in your word. Yet and still, I was still being led astray. But God has, you know, God has His protection over us. The devil can't do nothing to us unless He's allow, He allows it. Amen? Amen. And so the reason why I want to make this point very, very important. It's because you can be getting results, but they may not be biblical results. They may not be the kind of results that you want. I had the results. I had the money. I had the cars. I had the house. I had. I, I was in shape. You know, I was. I was. I was working out all the time. You know, I would go to the gym. And I was going in the entertainment contest, winning contests, going out and doing a whole bodybuilding thing. And then I got into the wisdom thing. I got talk. There is. If you want to talk. Health that I mean, I, I was we was I was going to make a video just to show you some of the people and some of the men that I that I read, some of the books that I followed, like Manny P. Hall um, and um, what's that? Uh, Sakara S. Anyway, these there, there's a whole list of people that if you type in those names and you pull up their books and their websites and you go into it, fascinating stuff. Has the Word of God all through it, all in it. But at the end of the day. They are all part of the Luciferian doctrine. They are all part of the Luciferian organization. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it's very, very important. There is some well-known TV evangelists that are a part of this organization. And this organization is about promoting prosperity, promoting health, and promoting knowledge. But you can always tell the weak from the terror. If you join an organization and the emphasis is on environmentalism, nothing wrong with saving, saving the trees, nothing wrong with saving the wells, nothing wrong with uh, going out and, and doing everything to save Mother Earth. But if your emphasis is on Mother Earth and not on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you might want to read a little bit further into the doctrine and to the terminology of what organization that you're a part of. And this goes on thing with the help. I put so much emphasis, I mean, now this, the health part is the part that I really struggle with. Because there's a guy that we are just watching, his name is Dr. Beck. Go and type, type his name in, Bob Beck. He has a machine, been out, this is nothing new, been out since the 1930s. Uh, he has a, a, a machine that uh, puts a small amount of current into your blood, you know, and electrifies your blood. What it does is no disease can attach to a cell that the polarity on the outside of the cell has been changed. So. All disease has a negative polarity. When you change the polarity of your blood to positive, so people come in with AIDS, you hook them up, yep. the AIDS, they can't affect. If you got diabetes, you got cancer, whatever, you, they, I mean, 100% success rate. There's a guy named Max Gershon, same thing. You type in the name, look it up. He went to Mexico because he couldn't practice in the United States because he cured every disease known to man. Yep. And, he, and he cured it. His was mainly just through the biblical diet. His was mainly through a plant-based diet. Eating a diet that is high alkalinity based versus high acidity or high acid. And so basically fruit and uh, vegetables instead of eating meat, carbohydrates, especially processed carbohydrates. I was watching thing, I was telling Dio about it because all of your processed foods have MSG in it. Yeah. MSG is what they call it, it's a, an it's a, it's a, uh, excitotoxin. And excitotoxin, what it does, when you look at a human cell in a microscope, it vibrates just a little bit. Because everything is moving. When you look at a human cell after somebody that has eaten McDonald's, or Taco Bell, anything that comes in a box or a can that has MSG in it, the cell is doing this. 
The cell is so excited that it damages itself and the other cells around it. The cell is totally out of control because it has so much uh, excitement. And so what happens is just bumping into all the other cells and it causes, it, it's causing internal damage and you have no clue. And it mainly affects children. And the way that you notice is because the, the child will only want to eat sweets. They, won't eat, they, they don't want to eat anything that has, that's not sweet because of the MSG. They've been exposed to it at a young age and once they get that appetite, they said that the belly fat that a person gets from MSG, you can't burn it off, you can't work it off, you can't exercise it off. Once it gets in there, it is the hardest thing to lose. So that's why if you notice, how many young kids you notice now that have a ring around their stomach? When I was growing up, you never saw that. The little kids, you can run till the cows come home and that ring will stay around your stomach because it's MSG. MSG is in every food product known. You can go and then aspartame is another thing. And I just checked it out. I went and bought a pack of gum. It's supposed to be natural. I looked on the back of it. Aspartame. Now, this happened to me. When I was in my heyday, and I was, you know, I had to keep my body fat under 5%. So I don't know if you know anything about body fat percentage, but to keep your body fat under 5% is really, is, it goes against nature. Because your, your body fat is designed so if you get sick, it's stored energy. Fat is stored energy. So your body converts that energy into food. So when I was trying to keep my body fat at 5%, I only drunk diet products. And if you like the like H-E-B, that flavored water, in that flavored water, it's a word that's called P-H-E-N, philomenon, I don't even know how to pronounce it. That's one of the byproducts of aspartame. After, man, two, I would say it, it was maybe two months, I woke up, I had a hole in my stomach and a hole in my back and a line going around connecting the two. And I woke up and I was a hole. I'm not talking about no little scale. I'm talking about a hole where you could see and it was, it was, I, you know, for the, I mean, it was nasty, let's put it that way. And the line was just uh, like somebody had took something and burned me and it went all the way around to my back. And the both holes, and I was working at USA at the time, and I couldn't wear a shirt because the shirt was matte. And then when I would try to take it off, it would pull the scalp. And so it was, and it was just oozing. And, it was, and I went to the doctor, and the lady gave me some shots. And she said, they just said to him, we don't know what it is. They said, we got to come back and run some more tests. So I was like, no, I ain't going back. So I went online, did some researches. One of the side effects of aspartame, because aspartame is a poison. It's formaldehyde. When it turns into your body, it turns into a wood poison. Formaldehyde is like a poison that it gets like really rigid. And so one of the side effects is it, it, it could actually cause or it, it creates damage from the inside out. So the hole started on the inside of my stomach and worked its way out. It stores it in your spinal column. So my spine got so full of the uh, aspartame that it started leaking out of my spine that created a hole in my back. And so the two was connected. I stopped drinking it within a week, the whole thing was gone. One week of stop of stop drinking an artificial sweetener. And again, this is this is knowledge. Now that's what I'm saying. Some knowledge is actually good. Because for example, uh, Max Gershon, 100 percent success rate 